The native land has a rich history, its ancient cities, historical, cultural and architectural monuments scattered across the Kazakh land are the proof. The Kazakh land's long history attracts attention of the world community, and this is the main theme of the native land program. Native land. Today in the program. Ancient settlements on the Golden Belt of historical and cultural monuments of Jambul region. Aisha Bibi Mausoleum decorated with 60 kinds of ornaments which become the basis of 28 versions of the legend. People are the mine of art, artists born in Jambul region. Jambul region is located between the Shulia Mountains, the western coast of Balkhash, the Karatau Mountains, the Kyrgyz Alatau and Bitpak Dala. The region was established in 1939 and shares borders with Kyrgyzstan to the south, with the South Kazakhstan region to the west, with Almaty region to the east and with Karaganda region to the north. The region consists of 10 districts and the city of Taras. Jambul region seems to be a golden belt of historical and cultural monuments, because the best examples of medieval architecture, cities and settlements built along the Great Silk Road are situated here. There are 65 historical, 106 architectural and 871 archaeological monuments on the territory of the region. Each of them is a valuable source of information about the history of our people. One of the monuments of unique architectural style of our ancestors is the Akartas complex located on Jambul land, 45 kilometers from the city of Taras. An amazing structure was built in the 8th, 11th centuries from dark red stone blocks. There are small hollows at the top of the blocks. The width of walls of the Akartas complex is from 3.5 to 5 meters. The height of the foundation of the building is 4 meters. The main feature of the structure is that the outer and inner walls were built dry, meaning without the use of dirt and solutions. The first person who left a record about Akritas was the Chinese traveler Chang Chung, who visited these parts in the early 13th century. He wrote in his travel diary, on the way we came across a city built from stone. It was built from red stones. You can see the traces of an ancient military settlement. Tuimi Kent is one of the most valuable cultural monuments in Jambul region. The ancient settlement located in Baizak region on the right coast of the Talas River existed in the 19th 13th centuries. Tuimikent is surrounded by fortification with towers and several gates. A moat was also excavated around the settlement. The width of the fortress is 4 to 6 meters and the height is more than 20 meters. Tuimikent, located on the Great Silk Road, once played an important role both as a city and as a shopping center. During the archaeological excavations of the ancient settlement, at a depth of 2 meters, two whole intact water pipes were found. This proves that the city had a well-developed engineering and public supply system. The ancient city of Kulan is the historical site in Jambul region which was included into the UNESCO World Heritage List. During the times of the Great Silk Road, this city was used for the cargo change. Traders transported silk, jewelry and various colors from Japan, Korea and China to Central Asia, ancient Russia and Byzantium. In the 60s of the 20th century, Soviet archaeologists discovered the residence of the ruler, the house of nobility and places where wine was made. As a result of excavation, it was determined that the city belongs to the 6th century. A 
Another monument included in the UNESCO World Heritage List located in Jambil region is the Mausoleum of Aisha Bibi. The walls of the monument built in the 12th century are decorated with potents and more than 60 kinds of ornaments. A variety of bricks used for the outside leaves no one indifferent. There is no such mausoleum decorated with patterns and ornaments throughout the whole Central Asia. This is a juniper tree. The tree is considered sacred. The tree used in this tower has a special property in addition to the nice smell. It was used for it not to rot, in other words, that the tower does not fall. Now they use reinforcement to keep it. There are legends that there was a solution with the addition of mare milk and goat's wool. Or vice versa, the goat's milk and the horse hair. But so far no one has been able to determine the composition. The century-old structure was half destroyed, only the western part was preserved. In 2001-2004, works on restoration and reconstruction were carried out. There is only a legend about who was Aisha Bibi. There are no historical facts. According to the legend, Aisha Bibi was a girl known among the people not only for her beauty, but also for her mind. She was the daughter of the famous Eastern wise man Zingi Baba, the spouse of Karahan Batir. There are 28 versions of the legend about the love of Aisha Bibi and Karahan Batir. According to one of the versions, Aisha Bibi, along with 40 other girls in search of her beloved, went on horseback from Turkestan to these lands. She arrives, stops at the riverbank and sends a messenger to Karahan to meet with him. She calls Karahan, asks to tell him that Aisha has come and waits by the riverbank. At the time Aisha was 18 years old. At that time poets, mullahs and strong wrestlers all went together, were in retinue. When five or six horsemen appeared on the horizon, Aisha dresses and puts on the Saukile's hat. At that moment the snake, having made its way into the Saukile, stings her in the hat. Realizing and that she no longer lives, since the mullah was nearby, she performs a ritual nikah with Karahan. After the performance of the rite, Karahan took a vow. We performed the rite of nikah. You became my wife, but this life I will spend in anticipation of you. They say that the 25-year-old man who gave the vow lived till 97 years old as a bachelor. It is said that Karahan Batir built this amazing mausoleum 18 meters high in honor of his beloved, who died at the age of 18. Near the mausoleum of Aisha Bibi, up on the hill, there is a mausoleum of Babija Khatun. The building is built from burnt bricks. The walls are decorated with simple patterns. On the facade, a part of the inscription which says, this is the grave of Babija Khatun, built, is preserved. The part with the name of the master must have been lost during the construction. According to the legend, Baba Jahatun was a servant of the beautiful Aisha, who always accompanied her in campaigns and protected her. Since they came together as friends, she did not leave her even after her death. She stayed here as a caretaker. Until the end of her days, she guarded her here, cleared the territory around. Baba Jahatun was buried here. In Jambil region, which is the center of monuments of world significance, people were born who became famous throughout the world. One such person is a talented actor, director and public figure Asan Ali Ashimov. He was born on the 8th of May 1937 in the village of Jailmau of Sarisu district of Jambil region. The 80-year-old Asan Ali Ashimov is one of the actors who raised Kazakh cinema to the world level. He was twice awarded the state prize, People's Artist of Kazakhstan and Honored Worker of Kazakhstan. Kazakh people respect and honor the actor who always plays his roles with special skills and sincerity. Another personality who, like the Aksakal of the theater and cinema Sanali Ashimov, became the people's favorite is Yermakhan Ibrahimov. He 
is a boxer who won a gold medal at the Sydney Olympics and raised our national flag. Yermahan Ibrahimov was born in 1972 in the village of Telman of Jambil region. The honored coach of the Republic of Kazakhstan in boxing, awarded with the Order of Boris of the First Degree and the Medal for Special Merits, is the winner of the Darin State Youth Prize. Dosimjan Tanatarov, a popular singer who won the hearts of listeners by singing Kuralai song, is also a native of Jambul region. This small settlement at the foot of Shao Mount is very dear to my heart. This village of Kumarik, my native village, will always be more expensive than all other cities, no matter how beautiful they are. Dosimjan Tanatarov was born on the 6th of May 1975. He studied at the Jambul Technical Institute as a chemical engineer. Then he received his music education at the Jambul Pedagogical Institute. Since 2000, he has been a soloist of the Presidential Orchestra. His first video was filmed for the song Kuralai. He released such albums as Akwim, Augar Now, Dalanin Arukzi, and Sererka. Dosimjan Tanatarov donated his musical instruments to his native school so that the younger generation would not be distant from folk music. Since I myself am an art man, I wish that in this sphere there were more of our boys and girls. Now it's the time of globalization. The goal is not to move away from national wealth, artisans as a nation despite globalization. I brought several national instruments with the wish to organize here if not an orchestra, but an ensemble of national music. Maybe in my next visit you will meet me with such an ensemble. Now also there are children who go to the Dombra class. I have my own class. New instruments are being added. I have a national orchestra. I see there are a lot of old instruments here. It's Sassernai, Surrey and Bells. This is our sacred Kobis, Dombra. There is such a famous musician, Alkuat Kozakbaev. He has presented this Kobis being a friend of mine. He asked me to sing a song on a Kobis to show what it was like. But for the youth themselves to see and learn, this was the intention. I own the National Orchestra. If I add these instruments to it, then the orchestra of folk music and old instruments will turn out. After all, there are many young people who follow your steps in the field of art. The famous French writer Romain Roland said, Kazakh folk music full of energy, of patriotism, is so attractive and so special that when you listen to the Kazakh song, the whole step rises before your eyes. When the Simjan Tanatarov sings, the listener in his thoughts begins to reach the village where it smells like wormwood. The cultural figure of the Republic of Kazakhstan, the winner of the Darin Youth Prize, the Simjan Tanatarov himself, takes each opportunity to come to his native village and the parental home. I spend 10 days of each summer in the village. I rest here. I rest from everything, thinking about nothing. My children, both son and daughter, also try to spend any free time in the village. They want to go there, they want to be there. With every opportunity we try to come to this village. We miss the village. I wish prosperity to the village which we miss. We are a strong people who have withstood many difficulties. Let our golden cradle, our village, prosper. Without the past there is no present, therefore it is necessary to study history, ancient fortifications on the Jambul land, ancient monuments with a special architectural style are the proof of culture and civilization at Kazakh land. They are the proof that our ancestors' nomads built beautiful places and led a sedentary lifestyle. <laughs> 